This is the Rollor Magnetic Helping Hands with Lighted Magnifier. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual. Here is the lamp itself. It has a 4.3 inch glass lens, real glass lens, 5x magnification with a 10x insert on it. There is an Allen key that is included for tightening that up on the base, which we'll get to in a second. They give you a cleaning cloth, microfiber for the uh, lamp, the uh, lens on that. It plugs in USB over here. It's a regular old USB connector and your buttons on the fob right there. You can plug that into any USB port that you want if you don't have one available. They give you the little cell phone charger looking, plug it in and get a USB thing. You get a, an anti-static wrist strap right over here. It's elastic. It has the snap on it over here, which is real tight. There we go. Like that. So you can unsnap yourself. So you can put that on for that. Nice coiled cord on it that has a an alligator clip on it along with a banana plug so whatever works for your particular application is right there for you the base itself solid metal the back of it padded the entire thing allen key would go in there in the event you need to tighten up this stanchion post there for the magnifying lamp. You get four circuit board holders. These are ceramic at the top, so it's white. You can use the point of it, you can use that groove there, or that slides down and it's spring-loaded. See, like that. So you can put something in there if you want as well however you want to do it. These are magnetic so they go right on the board and stay where you put them. They also give you four arms, five alligator clips and the fixing screws with them. You get one extra. The way it works very simply is you take this, this goes together, there's a hole right over there, so we'll put that in Grab one of the fixing screws right there, and then you screw that in. So a little tricky to hold and get the screw started. There we are. That goes in there nice and tight, and now you have an alligator clip. Goes on the board magnet magnetically and they're on a gooseneck so you put them anywhere you want and obviously I gotta put the alligator clips on the rest but you can see how that'll hold stuff just like that you also get if I take these off for a minute and they're very strong magnets on there so the stuff won't go anywhere you also de get a desk clamp for the lamp I'll show you that as well the lamp like I said before, plugs in USB because it is lighted and magnified, like I said before. And with all of that said, let me show you how the lamp goes together. The lamp, by the way, is uh, 1200 lumens, and it has three different color temperatures of light. You get kind of a warm, a cool, and an in-between, known as neutral or natural, depending on who you ask. And... Um, you can mount the lamp either there on the base of it or through the clamp to clamp onto your desk and it's on this nice arm so let me show you all of that how the lamp works and that and then we'll kind of test it all out so if you wanted to use the desk clamp for the uh, lamp you just undo that here we will just unscrew it quickly here for a second it's a piece of foam in there but no worries because it has rubber padding material there. 
and there so it's rubber padded on both sides then you can put that over the edge of your desk we're gonna make believe this is my desk because that's what I have available here turn the knob to tighten that up and then you unscrew this we'll leave it right there and now we can go ahead and take the lamp a magnifier stick that down in and that now gets tightened down let me show you at a better angle so the lamp can go like this you turn that there's a little fixing screw there which you can adjust if you want that can tilt down you can bend that adjust it to whatever angle that you want like that bend it like that you know whatever way is going to work for you turn it all the way around we loosen this up the whole thing can come out like that and go like that you know whatever you want to do however it works for you is just fine and you can see the light there which we're going to turn on in a moment I'm going to put it in the base now the clamp also has a side mount so you can undo that thing and then screw it in over here like that and then if you had something you could clamp it sideways like that and still have the lamp facing upwards and if you wanted to put it in the base you just loosen that up and stick it on down in there like that and we'll turn that to tighten it up and now that can come out and down like that to look at whatever you want. Let's go ahead and turn the lamp on now so you can see that. So there's a little blue status light there for when it's off so you can see. We can turn it on and you can see that there's plenty of light. You have your different color temperatures. So there's actually five of them, depending on how warm or cool that you want it. And then of course you can raise and lower the brightness. That is at the highest brightness, but it goes down. And you can see it's a much lower brightness, but still plenty great to see. Let's take a look through the magnifying glass. Here's an old stick of RAM. Here it is out of there. And now 5x magnification in there that you can see and if you look closely it's hard to line the camera up with that but you can see the edge connector and the 10x insert so that's really nice to see stuff close up this is 256 meg of ddr2 memory so that's nice right there you can see pretty much everything that you need right through that you can also use the circuit board mounts, for example, just like that. And that's just in the groove of the ceramic there. Look how sturdy that is. That is not going anywhere. You can definitely solder on that and put quite a bit of force on that. Now, we'll slide back and forth like that because it's not being held down. But remember, these are spring-loaded, so we can lower that. And now I got the little springy guys holding it. So it's not going anywhere. That's pretty good right there. You could solder whatever circuit boards. This is just an example, of course, like that. And with that, let's go actually solder something. So in full operation, this is kind of what you'd expect to see. I'm going to solder those wires together. Uh, not that there's anything static sensitive, but you can always do some ESD protection like that if you need so you have that with that I have my vintage Weller soldering iron that's another nice thing about this it plays nice with old equipment and now I can look through the magnifying glass and go ahead and solder these wires together now 
these wires are pretty thick and this iron is about 25 watts so it takes a little bit for it to get some heat into it so it's going to be just a moment here for it to actually start uh, soldering the way it's supposed to there we go Taking a bit today. There. That'll do just fine. Looks like I splashed some solder, but that's just fine because, you know, it just goes right on the board like that. It picks right off, and you're good to go with that. And now I've made myself a nice, strong connection right there that's not going to come apart. With the help of the Rollor Magnetic Helping Hands with Magnifying Lab. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.